Okay, it's uh, seven o'clock, so um, let's get started. So welcome everyone to the second of our webinars, where we'll be covering all aspects of ProForm to help you get the most from the software, race guides, and daily stats. So tonight's webinar is all about getting behind the stable doors. By using the ProForm tools to determine which trainers are in a purple patch of form, those that are going through a poor run of form, and determine those that are emerging from a bad spell. So tonight, um, what we're gonna cover is you, to use the um, different aspects of ProForm to analyze the trainer records during the 14 day period. And we're also gonna review the relevant trainer reports on our website. So this uh, webinar is being recorded. Um, I think when I get chance on Friday sometime, um, what I'll do is upload the webinar to YouTube and then send out a link to all attendees so you can review it at your leisure. So we have a, a mixture of uh, attendees tonight from subscribers to um, people who are attending as free users. Um, how you can interact tonight really is just by um, entering any comments in this box on the screen that's uh, in front of you. Um, those comments will be shared to everybody uh, so you can post up your own thoughts and if you've got any questions um, please please use them there also myself and Simon are um, myself and Simon will accept uh, any feedback and comments uh, via email so just a, a word about your presenter um, that's me on the screen my name is Mike Bailey um, for those of you who have a presence on social media on Twitter, uh, I'm known as uh, Slippery Toad. I'm a ProForm technical consultant. Uh, I've been involved with ProForm for about six years now. Um, like yourself, I was a su subscriber for four years. And then um, two years ago, I took voluntary redundancy to work for ProForm full time and also focus on my betting, which is horse racing and football related. So let's talk about the trainer. The skill of the horse race trainer can be judged by the record of success from the resources they command. Given the major influence a trainer has on preparing a horse for racing, a study of the trainer's form will give us an insight into their methods, if they're working, and under what conditions. Now with that, there are a lot of trainers um, that have horses in training at this moment in time. Uh, which will produce a lot of data. So what you'll need is some sort of tool to be able to uh, help you analyze the uh, trainer form. And this is where ProForm can help you, uh, especially one aspect of ProForm, which is our system builder. So within the software, the system builder is a innovative tool that lets you develop and test strategies and systems. ProForm essentially is a, a database and the system builder front end, which, which is shown on the screen, sits in front of that um, database to simplify the activity of actually entering searches and search criteria for you to run on the database. And that's done by selecting various options or entering information in the various fields on, the, on these tabs here. Now, as we'll see, using the system builder can become a complex process. So a complex activity. So what I suggest is that you, you follow these steps when thinking about um, putting together a um, system builder query. Uh, the first thing you should consider is what question am I trying to answer? You know, if you have a good idea of what the end result should be or what you're after, then that gives you a good link into the next step where you can select the criteria. Again, if you haven't followed the first step, then you're in danger of identifying selection criteria, which will essentially mean that you'll put garbage in. And if you put garbage in, you'll get garbage out. The next step is to think about how you want the information displayed. And then finally, uh, we get to review and analyze the results. Now, in the case of tonight, where we're looking at uh, train, trainer day, train a form over 14 days, then the first criteria really is the this period of a 14 days, which is a date related act, um, criteria. So we'll use 
the date tab to enter information uh, for that um, for that field. The next criteria relates to the trainer, and then finally, what we'll do is look at the statistical information. There's a lot of fields that we provide, <clears throat> and um, what I'll also show you is a method by which we can use the filter uh, feature within the system builder to reduce that information to a much more manageable list. So let's take a look at the system builder. So for those who are, are not uh, software subscribers, um, here is the system builder within the software. To access it, all we need to do is go to the features menu and select system builder. As I indicated in the previous slides, what we have are various tabs within the system builder which logically group um, elements of information. <clears throat> so for example, all of the date related uh, criteria are listed under the date tab. Any race related criteria is listed under the race tab and any course related information is listed under the course tab. So this essentially what we want, look, want to do is to look at the training records over 14 days. So it's a date related um, criteria. So we select the date tab and then we can restrict the period of time by just entering 14 in this field here, restrict system to look at races from the past 14 days. There are other periods of time which you can see in front of you. The next thing we need to do is to restrict the criteria again and in this case it's related to trainers so we will use the trainers runner um, selection under the choose your declaration type and the reason why we do that is that once the query completes then the information will be listed by trainer which is what we want. And then finally what we need to do is to say okay over when does the actual period start in other words, we need to start select a, a, a date from, from 14 days hence. And so we'll look at um, today, the 12th of, uh, of November, and go back 14 days from that period of time. If we run the system, and that's easily done by just hitting this big green button called Run System, then we have here the results of that particular query, which is essentially all the trainers that have had runners in the last 14 days. If we want to look at a little bit more detail, all we need to do is just position our mouse over the trainer's name and double click. And we'll then take into a screen which gives us a further level of detail, i.e. the trainer's runners and the uh, relevant results. Now this screen it, it can be customized uh, if you want to add more information to be displayed, then all you need to do is to go to the Preferences tab and you have all of these additional preferences that you can add to the screen. Uh, what you see in front of me, uh, front of you are the ones that I, I, I have selected. In this area here, what we have is the System Qualifier screen and essentially what it shows is that for this particular trainer, uh, Alan King, it shows the um, qualifiers for his runners, in other words, the, the date of his next runner. If we wanted to um, go into that particular race and, and, and uh, start our analysis, it's as simple as just double clicking over any, any of the fields and then we can just pull up the information into the race card. Now I don't intend to go through the race card uh, this evening, but as you can see, we can start from the process of looking at the trainer and then work our way through to race analysis fairly easy, easily by just clicking our mouse. If we go back to um, the list of trainers, um, we may want to refine this list even further by just focusing on one particular race category um, and we can do that under the race tab where if we just want to look at trainers who've had horses 
who've had ran horses in the last 14 days on the all-weather surface, then that's as simple as position our mouse over the race type area, select none, and then we select all weather, and then run the system again. As you can see, results are returned by the system builder, and if we just double click into the trainer name, we can see that all we have is the uh, results related to their runs on the all weather surface. Again, returning to this list, if we scan down, we can see that there are a number of trainers um, that have had runners but have had no winners. And really, what we'd like to do is to see which trainers are uh, have had the, the most winners during that period of time and then run some sort of analysis. So to restrict this list even further, we have the uh, filter results tab, which is here. And so if we wanted to do something along the lines of only list the trainers that have had nine or more winners in the last 14 days, then that's as simple as turning the filter on and then selecting the appropriate field and entering nine here and then the correct logical operator. So in this case, we, we select this one, which says greater than or equal to nine. If we run the system again, you can see now we have got uh, a much con more constrained list, um, but only for those trainers that have had nine or more winners in the last 14 days. For each of these columns, to sort them, it's just a matter of position our mouse over the, over the column title and, and clicking them. And what we can see is that Kim Bailey and Venetia Williams, over the last 14 days, have um, their runners have produced um, nine and ten uh, winners respectively, with a profit at um, Betfair SP and Industry SP as well. Now there's a lot more stats available here, and I don't intend to go through these columns. But as you can see, if you want to dive into the actual data and and look at it in more detail then all the information is available to you. Now it may be that you want to take this information and process it offline or copy it into your notes and again that's as simple as um, position your mouse over the any of the columns and use, utilizing one of, of these two features where you can copy the information to the clipboard or you can copy it to a file which is comma separated values. In this occasion, what we'll do is copy it to the clipboard. And then if we just go to Excel, I can just position my mouse over the cell of interest, right click, and then as you can see, the information is pasted into Excel. And we can run the same process if we wanted to for Word or a, a text file. So what we have now is an ability to run the query in the system builder and then take the information and copy it or process it offline. If we go back to the date tab, we've actually restricted the search for the last 14 days, but actually what we can do is extend that uh, period of time wider by just changing the information in this field here. So if you want to look at trainers that had nine or more winners of the last 28 days, it's just a matter of changing that field and running the system query again. And again, interpreting the results. I know that this webinar is all about trainers, but we can do the same thing for jockeys. And again, all we need to do is change the declaration type, and we can do that here. So for instance, if we just look at jockeys now um, and run the, the query again, we can see the list of jockeys who have had nine or more winners over the last 28 days. So you can see the system build itself really provides a, a, a hell of a lot of, um, uh, of information to you. And depending on how simple or how complex your query is, you can go as deep or as shallow as you choose. But for those who have pushed for time, um, what we do have is a whole lot of reports on our website. And what I'll do now is spend time just talking about the trainer reports we have available to you. So 
on our website we have our daily stats area and here this is our repository for all of the reports that are compiled every single day and um, these are standard reports which we feel that uh, um, are cover most of the searches and queries that um, you would run on the system builder and they're automatically created for you under these categories so if we look at the report for for trainers then you can see that the report the standard reports of the trainer form of the last 14 days and 28 days are already there so if you wanted to look at the trainer form the last 28 days it's as simple as clicking your mouse and reviewing the information so the full reports are available to um, platinum subscribers only along with the ability using these fields here to filter excuse me to filter the list for those of you who are not um, platinum subscribers or people that subscribe to the website for free then you get reports but they are um, much um, much more restricted but we've got some other reports which I'd like to spend some time showing you so again we just click on the, the various trainer reports and here we have a whole list of different reports broken down for you these are all system builder queries so you can all create these in the software but we've done the work for you so if we take for example trainer form with last time out winners on over jumps trainer form with last time out winners returning within seven days over jumps then there's a, a standard report for you here and what you can do is, is take that information and use it as, as part of your race analysis along with all the other unique reports so in summary if we take the premise that the form of the racehorse trainer can be judged by the record of success from the resources they command and we wish to determine the trainer's form then within Proform what we can do is use the system build to run specific reports and filter the information as required as I showed you within the system builder you can go as deep or as shallow as you choose but we also have um, a lot of content in the Proform daily stats area and these are automated reports which save you time um, and then from the, 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 this information you can use it as part of your form analysis or you can use it as part of any systems that you're developing now the important thing to note is that this is only one aspect of the selection process we need to study the horses we need to study the jockeys we need to study the race conditions but hopefully um, in the last sort of few moments or minutes I've given you uh, a real insight into how you can use Proform to study the form of trainers. So that concludes the webinar uh, for this evening. Um, this webinar, as I mentioned previously, will be recorded, and what I'll do is upload it to the, our Learn More area. Um, please feel free to explore that area in a lot more detail. There's loads of videos on not only what I've discussed tonight but also on different aspects of Proform it's available to everybody so you don't have to be a, a subscriber to view those those videos um, and there's just plenty of content which uh, I suggest you you know take a moment to to, to look at um, if there's any questions you have um, myself and Simon will welcome any comments or, or questions via email uh, for those of you who have a presence on social media uh, especially Twitter then you know, follow us on at Proform Racing, where we put up daily snippets of information that we found, we find. And uh, finally, um, for those of you who have a, a Facebook profile as well, then take a look at our Facebook page. Um, what we do is look at the various pieces of information or uh, news from the in, within the horse racing industry, and um, upload those that info, info to our uh, Facebook page but we also try where possible to content create it in other words add our own spin to it 
or add some useful piece of information to that post. So that concludes the webinar for this evening. Um, hopefully you found it useful. Again, if you've got any questions, uh, feel free to contact myself and Simon uh, with those via the sources I've indicated. So uh, my name is Mike Bailey. On behalf of Proform, I'd like to thank you for um, attending our webinar this evening and um, hopefully we'll speak to you fairly soon. Take care. Have a good evening. Bye-bye.